Hey guys, so I had so many requests after I filmed one of my recent videos, I'm not sure what it was, to show you the hairdo that I had as well as I Instagrammed a picture. It's really quick and easy, I don't want to say easy, it's quick and easy once you kind of get the hang of it. Um, here it is, I just have a big kind of bang piece curled with a conical wand down. Let me show you the back. Ta-da! So if you want to know how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, so this is just hair. Yesterday I shampooed it, I scrunched it, I did the like all natural um, hair tutorial that I just posted the other day. I took a curling iron and wrapped it around a few times to kind of give it a little bit more texture. And this is my hair, I slept on it, brushed it out today. You can do this with your hair straight, curly, wavy, Whatever you want to do, you're going to get the same result except for the bang piece. But you could go ahead and curl that at the end if you want or leave it straight, whatever you want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is tease a lot all over. So I'm just going to start right at the top of my crown. I'm going to spray a little hairspray and then tease this up really well. Now I'm gonna tease it a lot more than normal because I'm gonna be pulling it down with the bobby pin. So it might look like a lot at first, but I'm gonna be taming it down. And I'm using, I just found this, last time I was with the Beauty, um, beauty Supply, I love it, it's Rusk Being Sexy Hairspray. I think it's a new line from Rusk. So I'm just going to take all of these sections and tease them up really well. Then I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. Then I'm gonna take my front sections and tease this up and out. All right, and then for the other side, how does this look? Okay, I went rollerblading today. Does anybody still rollerblade anymore? I don't know, but I do. I used to love rollerblading. My best friend and I would go, like when we were in high school, and I hate running. So I'm like, hey, why don't I rollerblade? All right, so once you have that all teased, I'm gonna spray that up. Now I'm gonna start pinning. So you're gonna need quite a few bobby pins, especially with the more hair you have. First, I'm going to take a section right at my crown. So I'm just gonna pull some of this hair, just like you would do, you know, a little bump here. And you can make this bump as big as you want. You can make it smaller if you're not comfortable with a big, huge bump, whatever you wanna do. So I'm just going to grab a section of hair here and just pull it together in the back and then I'm gonna start pinning it. So once you get your desired bump, I'm just gonna take a few body pins going in opposite directions to help secure the hair and pin that bump in place. So once you have your bump in place, I'm gonna take a side section, I'm gonna split my sections in two so I'm just gonna take some hair here. You might have to tease it some more if you didn't get it teased enough. And I'm gonna connect this spot too when I'm all done. But I'm gonna pull this spot around and bobby pin it in place. Like so. So I'm going to take my other side, leaving a bang section out. I'm going to split this in half, the same as I did on the other side. Tease it a little bit more here. Swing this around. And pin it just like I did the other side. Like so. 
All right, so once I have that second section in place, of course, I can't find my rat tail comb anywhere. So I'm gonna have to make do, I'm just using this nail thing. But I'm just going to grab some of my hair and pull out just slightly to help connect my two bumps and give any area lift that might need it. And I would suggest obviously using a comb for this. You have a little bit more precision, but I don't have one handy. So you just really lightly want to pull out sections of your hair to kind of make it uh, more uniform. Like so. All right, so once I have that all done, I'm just gonna give that a little bit of hairspray to make sure it's secure. All right, so now I'm going to move on to my second sections. So I'm gonna take this piece down here. I'm gonna tease it a bit at the roots, pull it back. And then I'm just gonna tuck it in in the middle of what I've already done. Now this is going to be better if you can use bobby pins that are the same color as your hair because you might end up seeing a few of them. So that's why I'm using blonde. Tease this a bit. Pull it back, same thing. So I'm gonna pull it back and around and secure it here in the middle. And like I said again, depending on you know how thick or long your hair is, you might have to use more bobby pins. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. We've got a little bump and just our sections kind of pulled back. All right, so now for the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole section, I'm gonna put it in a loose braid. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and braid the back of my hair in a semi-loose braid, going down pretty far to my ends. Then, so I'm going to fold my ends in, roll my braid up a tiny bit, and pin it in place. So I'm pinning once on this side. and once on the other. And so there we go. That's all I have to do for mine. If you have more hair, if it starts to fall out, you might need to pin it a little more. But there she is. All right, so this is it. This is the finished look when I get done. I'm going to do a little bit of hairspray where need be. And there it is. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.